Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about internal loading. So as the name suggests, we want to find the load within an element. Why are we interested in that? Because we want to see where the load is maximum or minimum, so we can judge whether our material, our member fails or not. So here I'm showing you a beam with random loading. Just a bunch of forces in different directions and a moment. So far, we know how to draw the free body diagram for that beam. And still, that's the first step in solving internal loading problems as well. So, and we can find reaction forces. At A, we have AX and AY, and at B, because it's a roller, we have BY. And then we include our loading theory as well. moment remember is a free vector so it can act any point on our beam so let's say we are interested in finding the loading at a random place here called C how can we find the loading in that location the method that we are going to use is the method of section so the internal loading is determined by method of section but what does the method of section is telling us the method of section is saying that if a member is in equilibrium then any segment of that member is in equilibrium similar to truss problems if you remember we cut the truss into half and we wrote equilibrium equation for each segment of the truss we could choose the right side or the left side because the any segment of the truss would also be in equilibrium so the concept here is the same if the member is in equilibrium any section of the member would be in equilibrium. So we can make a section cut here and find the loading in that location. If the problem is asking us to find the load at section C, we make the section cut at that location because we want to expose the internal loading. Here I'm showing you a beam with forces, random forces acting on our beam. Let's say you want to find the internal loading at this point C. So we make a section cut. After making a section cut, we have a choice whether we use the right side or the left side of the beam. Usually you need to select the side that has less number of forces and moments. So it would be easier for you uh, to find the internal loading. So here for practice, we're going to do both sides. So here would be the right side or right segment and here would be the left side or the left segment of the beam so left side we need to include all the forces that are acting on the left part of my section cut m1 and here i have f2 and then I have M2. So for this problem, now we have the internal loading. What type of internal loading do we have? It's a 2D problem. So we have loading forces in X direction, in Y direction, and also we have one moment. So we are gonna write our loading here. So we have force in extraction we call it this normal force because it's normal to the surface i call it n and because it's a section c i call it nc the other load that we have is towards y we call it a shear load and we show it by v and that's because it's parallel to our surface and then we will have our moment mc the moment at the section C. If I want to write it for the right side, I have three loadings as well. I have N, I have V, and then M. If you pay attention, if I add these together, the internal loading will go away. The two normal forces and C would cancel each other the moments would cancel each other and the shear loading cancel each other 
Again, the one that is normal force is normal to the surface, shear is parallel to the surface, and then we have a moment. Or you can think of it as we have a load in X direction, in Y direction, now, of course, we have a moment. It's a 2D problem, so we have one moment in Z direction. Or in 2D, we usually refer it by clockwise and counterclockwise. But we are using a convention to say which one is positive or negative. So the sign convention for the normal force, and C. So the sign convention is saying that we are not going based on positive X or positive Y, but based on whether the member is in tension or compression. So a normal force is positive when it creates a tension. So it is positive. when creates tension in the member. That was the same thing that we did for trusses method of section. Which means that if you have our member here, if we cut into half, if we analyze the left side, then that would be the convention that we use. If we analyze the right side, that would be the positive direction. So you can see we are not using X and Y here. Here in this case, NC is in the opposite direction of X, but because it creates tension, we call it positive normal force. And here, because it creates tension, we call it a positive normal force. Then the shear force, the force that is parallel to the surface or is towards y direction. It is positive when causes the segment to rotate clockwise. So remember here we are not talking about moments. For moments if you remember, counterclockwise was positive. Here is a different sign convention that we are using in general for internal loading. Make sure you don't confuse the two. So if you have our member here again, our member, our shear loading would be positive here because it causes this member to rotate clockwise. And if you are talking about the right side, then VC should going up to be positive because it's causing the member to rotate clockwise. So that would be the positive direction of the shear force. Again, if you want to go by X and Y, you would see that VC here should be negative and VC here should be positive. But we are not following X and Y uh, for sign of internal loading. VC is positive when it creates a clockwise motion and is negative when it creates a counterclockwise motion. So what would be the sign of moment? So if the moment is positive, when the moment causes our member to curve upward or causes an upward curvature or we call it concave concave and convex if you remember so if we have our member this is the positive moment it creates our member to curve upward and a negative moment would be in this direction. So to remember, you can think of it as if, it, if the moment creates a smiley face. That would be a positive moment. And this is a negative moment. So if I have a beam here, if the moments are creating a happy face, then the moment is positive. And that's uh, 
method that we use for internal loading. So remember, we have three internal loading, normal fourth, shear fourth, and moment. We are not going to refer them by fourth in X direction, Y direction, and the moment. Just shear, normal, and moment. So here, if we have two beams and we cut it into half, if you have one beam, then after cutting, we have two beams. If you are analyzing the left side, that's the positive sign. And if you are analyzing the right side, that's the positive convention that we use.